Hello everybody, the Wounded Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play 4, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. In the last episode, we got the rest of the Sky characters for the Sky Book that we needed to move that owl statue at Kakariko Village, and we did, and we ended up at a cannon that didn't work, so we had to warp it to Lake Hylia, and we talked to Fire there, and Fire helped fix the cannon, but we had to pay him 300 rupees, and we had Uksha inside the cannon, and we flew along with Uka, U not Uka, he's an Uka, but his name is Uku, Uku went inside the cannon with us, and we flew all the way up here to the city in the sky, we got a couple chests underwater, and we made the the shop, and we talked to Uku, and Uku is now, now coming with us, so... Now we are starting the City in the Sky officially, which I'm not looking forward to it because this is my least favorite dungeon. It, it, it's still, I, li I like it a lot, but I don't like how confusing it is. It's very easy to get lost in it. So, uh, oh wait, crap, I went the wrong way. Over here. Hopefully I'll get through this as fast as possible. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to use our claw shot to get this uh, so switch, we'll open up the gate. And of course we are giving getting the official overview of the city in the sky. It's pretty big and confusing, as you can see. Oh, we head into this room and we have more Uka. So they're clearly not Uku, but we can actually use the Uku Uka to fly over to this next platform. And be careful because these blue platforms are. They, they end up falling, so we need to be careful of that. So we can just push on to the vines. Here and we're gonna need to hook posh off these Uku that are on the wall because apparently they can walk on the wall. And uh, I think we, we can make it across. Oh wait, no, we can't. Oh, dang it! Get these enemies! Okay, there we go. Now we need to. Shot onto... What? Oh wait, there's a platform over here. Didn't notice that. Finally got a heart. In the next room. It's basically the main floor of this of this dungeon. There's a huge one of these. I, again, I don't know the name of these guys, but this is basically like a bigger version of it. Still pretty easy to take out. I believe we have to go over. Should be yeah. This this uh way way we can hook shot up has an opening. It actually head, heads outside. Drop down, and we have to. Yeah, we need to use our spinner because this is another like weird thing we have to turn. Spinning, spinning, spinning. That makes that bridge like move. So again, we're gonna have to equip our claw shot again. Claw shot! Okay, let's make our way across. And of course... 
Wind. Being annoying. So we're gonna have to wait for the wind to keep to stop blowing to be able to get across. Quickly go! Go, go, go! Okay, made it! Next room. Nobody in your house makes pots. That's one heart. Here, there is a chest. Chest, so. Now, thankfully, there's a claw shot target up here, so we can pop down from here and get the chest. Get a small key. Claw shot, shot over to this wall. And we can't do anything this, with, with this room yet. That was like the only thing we came in here for was the small key. You know, again, we're gonna have to wait for the wind. Run, run! Fast. <laughs> and of course there's a cutscene with the dragon flying. I uh, should have known that he was going to break down that bridge. Now we have to find some way to get back there. So now back inside, inside the main room, we're gonna have to use claw shot to these vines to get across. Oh! Of course I just dropped down like that! Ugh. Not fall this time. We need to go to the other side now. Go across. Now we are back at outside again, so we have to go over. And we're gonna need to use the spinner yet again. Let's do the dance again and hopefully the dragon doesn't doesn't break this bridge. Locked door is and oh boy, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. No! There we go. Lock the door. Now we are in this next room and we're gonna have to wait for these wheels to stop spinning. Or wait, or we, I think we actually need our iron bar. Dang it, I'm, I'm taking these guys out. There we go. Yeah, I actually want that, I wanted that heart. Oh well. Let's drop down and get inside this. Here there's a chest contains the dungeon map. Alright, and there's an 
Uku here that we can't do anything with yet. Should be a cross shot target somewhere. <laughs> he fell. Here's the pistol switch that we need to hit. That get rid of get make that fan stop spinning so we can actually get over there now. Health back! Oh my all the way back over here! Can roll across into the next room. Okay, there are a couple chests here that small chests that are probably just rupee chests. I have to wait for the wind to stop blowing. Here we are going to need our gill boomer. We actually have to use it right now. And yeah, I glad I didn't actually fall off. Jump off. And should be able to cross here. And cross and let's get this chest. After we take out this stupid keys, we have a yellow rupee. Okay. And why did I just fall down? Okay, we're back at the beginning, I guess. Oh, boy, don't fall. No! Should have waited there. No, let's not worry about the keys. Now it's the keys. Here. Oh no! Of course. Yeah, I'm gonna be falling here a lot for sure. Oh, almost fell off. No. Taking out this thing. Wait. There we go. Finally getting somewhere. You have to really fast jump on the next platform because that one is falling. Okay, looks like we're at the mini boss. Alrighty. 
I don't even think this is a new boss. This is just a uh... fight. Going to moral draw, at least attempt a moral draw. Okay, took care of one of them. So hard to do when you attack us. There we go, finally. Taking out all it both enemies will end up making it so we can hook claw shot up to there, because that round ball thing you're able to like, claw shot to. Or actually have to claw shot to the vines. And I seriously need there's help these cards, so I need them. These pots. Only one, I guess, that's good enough for, for now. So I'll shot the, this ball that makes the wind here, there. Okay, so we're gonna have to wait. And oh, yeah, we're gonna have to use one of these uka ukus. And fly over to the wind. Why actually did we need to do that? Confused. Oh, but I, I think I know that did. That just did something to like another room where the, there wasn't any wind before. Now we are here. This room. I thought, th I thought this room would uh, take us back to the last room that we were in. That's why I was confused. I have to wait for the wind again. Jump! Okay, I think we can make it all the way to the chest. Yes! Drop! We get a purple rupee, so not very special, but... Oh crap, I'm gonna have to... Oh, at least it fell back up. I'm gonna have to jump. Oh no. Ugh. At least there's a car shot. So I'm going to pick this up. Place it over here because I won't be able to reach it if it's on the side like that. Last shot to it. Now we can going. Now we have to claw shot up to this disco ball looking for <laughs> that makes the pots go flying. That's actually kind of funny. Yeah, the wind of of course the wind disappeared. Up. Did one start moving? Yes. Oh boy. Now we have made it here. Door we can go through. This firm is pretty vertical. And we're, of course, we're. Well, can we actually. We can clash it over here. Got up and sat down, and we should be able to drop down from here. And yes, we can. And this is just a shortcut. 
Don't, 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 no! Of course, we had to wait for the stupid wind. Now we are back here again. Yeah, we should be able to toss uh, that over here. I'm back to full health. Finally. Come on, toss that. Barely stand on the edge. There we go. Oh, I almost fell off. That was scary. Can do is hang out from there though. You should can someone make yourself heavier so oh I that whip our iron boots. Doing that gets rid of the fan. Now we can go all the way down and drop. This is actually the other mini boss area. It wasn't actually the mini boss. This is the mini boss. Okay, we are fighting, uh, I don't know what its name is, but it's a flying Dolphos. It looks like it's a flying Dolphos, but we're gonna have to hook shot when he's, like, showing his, like, shield. I think 
maybe I you can actually barrel draw. Nope. Yeah, we can't actually attack it when it's attacking us when it's on the ground. Wait for it to show, him, show us its shield. There we go. And it's not done yet. We just have to watch out for it. Oh, come on! No! It's too high up. There we go. Okay. Oh, we can use our shield attack. There we go. We actually can attack it when it's on the ground. Nope, nope. Dang it! Come on! I was too under it! Oh my gosh, are you serious? There we go, finally! It is down! Now... Claw shot... Here and get what's in this chest. So excited for this! Got another claw shot! Combined with the one that you already have, they, they're called the double claw shots! And now we could use another claw shot when we're like... Attached to... Attached to one thing. We're gonna need to use them, and, and they look so cool. I have to use them to claw shot up to this target. And we're gonna have to go over to this one. Now we can claw shot into the vines. Now we can access a lot more things now. Now we are back here, so the, getting the double claw shot should make getting back up a lot easier. It's like keep going up and you like don't even need to stop. We are gonna have to drop down here. Huh? And we need a hook shot onto this disco ball thing. It opens up the gate. As I go in there, I'm going to end off this episode here, so... Guys, if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video, and I will see you guys next time. For my, my, my Let's Play 4, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. Have a wonderful day, guys, and...
Peace out. I thought I was going to end off the episode, but apparently, like, I, I just wanted to show you how to get back to this room. You actually had to lower yourself from the disco ball, but... And now I'm going to end off this episode. See you guys next time. Peace out.